The quake probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. I absolutely love that the first stuff I'm doing, at least after the prologue dream sequence, is just just like daily life on the base. That's really cool. I'm not just going right into horror stuff. It's setting the mood and allowing me to get to know the place, understand what life is like here. It's just really nice. Like, this is awesome. I like just pressing around buttons and trying to get stuff working. Oh, I think we can read a lot more now that the lights are on. Oh, and then there's the computers. They're offline. Can I turn them on? Guess not. So, what if I scan again? Nothing scanned. Like... What does this do exactly? Like, it's pointing over in that direction? Oh, that's like a quest marker, I see. And this is... Now I just pressed the button to uh, show me the quest objective. And that popped up with that thing over there. So... Yeah, it kind of highlights some things. Like the door is kind of highlighted. Allows you to connect to stuff, apparently. Some stuff. This is so cool. I love this. Reading... Fucking hell. Reading somebody's journal. Uh, the journal of a scientist who's looking at Martian rocks. And I just flip it open. And I actually have to open it. You don't just pick it up, but you have to open it and look around it. And look at the handwritten pages. This. That is so cool. And you can go forwards and backwards. That is so cool. I love this. Log 1. Supplemental log regarding our ongoing survey of samples and the search for evidence of microbial life on the planet Mars. The rule of two is an exciting... Yeah, we heard about the rule of two. Uh, log 2. Samples from area... Blah, 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 analyzed. No signs of microbe fossils. Log 3. Samples from areas... Mm -hmm -hmm. Organic molecules discovered in ancient rock. The precursor in building blocks to life, though not yet proof of microbes. Log 4. Samples from area analyzed. No signs of microbe fossils. Log 5. No signs. Log 6. No signs. However, Declan says he found a promising site some 36 kilometers east of base. We'll send him directly there for the next set of samples. Oops. Oh, and that's the last entry. This is how it happened, isn't it? That promising site that Declan found. 36 kilometers east of base. That contained the bad stuff, didn't it? Why do I like sci-fi horror so much? I don't know, but I fucking love it. Oh, we've already read that. Look at how detailed it is. So many little holes all over it. Look at all the scuff marks all over the glass. Whoops. Oh, the Cerberus server rack? I'm already connected to it, though. <clears throat> Manticore non-disclosure agreement. Uh, uh, flipping through this monstrosity once was more than enough. Yeah, I was just thinking this is not fun reading. I don't know. I'll glance at it. Okay. Yep, that was a great read.
What is Invictus? Orochi Group is proud to announce unprecedented feat of science and human potential. Welcome to Invictus, Earth's first long-term space station on Mars. The Invictus program will be ready to launch in the very near future. And we know you have questions. Why private space travel? We admire and are thankful to the pioneering work by organizations like NASA, but there are limitations to any government institution. Orochi, as a global corporate entity, has resources and expertise that knows no boundaries. We are uniquely situated to take space exploration to its next level. We are eager to show you. Why explore the stars? Exploring this, exploring the space, the space? Exploring space not only furthers humankind's knowledge, it also inspires new technologies that make life for the rest of us on Earth that much better. What is Orochi Group? Orochi is the world's largest multinational corporation composed of dynamic subsidiaries. Together, we form eight heads facing forward to an innovative horizon. Oh my God, shut up. We see limitations as a challenge and the impossible as a dare. We will push boundaries. We will pursue excellence. We will change the world. Orochi group, we will. Fuck off. Anansi Technologies, leaders of computer hardware and software. Manticore, paragons of, aer of aerospace, defense and industrial design. that everything down here? I don't think there's anything more to read. Well, I think the door just opened because I got close to it. Is there anything upstairs I can read now? Ooh, what is this? Somebody sipping on some plethron? Oh, hold on. I can kind of read it. Um, Plethrin thermostabilized meal. Mmm. Ah, oh, pretty good view from here. I wonder which way is east. Where the campsite is. The promising site, I mean. I hope we get to go visit and like drive or walk to the the site. Go on the surface of Mars. That would be really cool. Nothing up here. Right. Yeah, I think we're done here. Um, what is my goal? Go to the solar panel site. Ah, right. Need to adjust it. Oh, hey. Did I see this before? Mm -mm. Mineralogical analysis of Martian soil and rocks by Declan Delapore. Employed Manticore's X3 spectrometer to analyze Martian rock and soil samples to identify the relative abundance of iron-bearing minerals, including carbonates, phyllosilicates, sil silicates, phyllosilicates, clays, hydroxyoxides, phosphates, oxides, silicates, sulfides, sulfates, measurement of the ferric to ferrous ratio, determination of the properties of magnetic phases including the size distribution of magnetic particles, nanophase versus larger particles, in the Martian soil. This data provides information regarding the nature of the atmosphere, surface, chemical, and physical weathering processes involving iron-bearing phases. We shall find this relevant in studying the evolution of volatiles and climate over time on Mars because surface materials are major volatile sinks. In point of fact, the problems something's covered up by the icon with understanding the evolution of volatiles on Mars is understanding the processes in the past and or present that are responsible for oxidizing the red planet. The X3 spectrometer is a prototype of Manticore, see NDA entry, Performed admirably. We'll write more in-depth notes on improvements that might be made for future production. As Commander Wilcox broadens our exploration, we will analyze a wider array of samples. Ooh. 
living area. That's not going to take me to the array. I think it was over here. Yeah. Research lab, living area, airlock. Oh, do I have to go outside? Oh, I do. Well, I think I'm going to get my wish to go outside on the Martian surface right now. Put on a helmet to interact. Hell yeah, this is so cool. Oh. Oh no. Isn't a helmet good enough? Just walk out there in underwear and a helmet. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's so many stats and stuff and data. That is so cool. Body temperature 36.8 degrees. Oxygen level 20%. That is not good. Have a bio gauge, a flashlight, and a CTP, whatever that means. Suit pressure PSI 4.71. Refill air. Yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, do I have a full suit on? Like, I got gloves on. I guess putting on the helmet is like, I don't know, just a quick way to show you what you're doing. So you don't have to, like, watch a whole thing of putting on the entire suit or something. Got its own unique way of opening. I have no idea where this game is going to go with its story or how good the horror elements are going to be. But just for building a believable location with interesting detailed objects and feeling like a real place and looking pretty, this game is really, really good at those things. Oh, does my oxygen level actually go down? Over time. It does. Not extremely fast. I don't think I need to rush, but... It is... A thing. I wonder what happens if I just run off into the Martian wilds. <laughs> In some random direction. Okay, I'm supposed to take this thing, right? To the array. Am I? Meerkat, yeah. Ah. That's so cool. That is so cool. All these things to interact with. Just the sound of pressing the button. Psst, filling my oxygen up. There it is. So I think we have oxygen in here, right? Like, my oxygen is blinking. I think that means it's suspended. It's not using the suit's oxygen right now. I guess you probably could take off your suit as well, but what's the point? Do I get to actually drive this thing? Like an actual drivable vehicle? Or is it going to do just a cutscene? Start engine. There's a startup procedure? Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. 
uh, we're moving. I'm not pressing anything. I Declan, I am buckled in and okay, it's automatic. Panel array. Well, now you've got nothing to do but listen to me. Just when my migraine was starting to clear up. I'm actually glad to have the Sierra landing today. Some fresh faces, and supplies, distractions. Everyone's so on edge lately. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. These dreams are starting to get to me. Yeah, you're not the only one having strange dreams there, Ace. You too? Oh yeah. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. You log out after your shift, eat some rehydrated meatloaf, and bunk down for the night. But the second you fall asleep, it feels like you're back at your desk and you hear the static again. Calibrate, more static, calibrate, then something sounds different, it's a pattern, you start decoding it, it's gibberish, but the static keeps talking. It wants you to hear the symbols. No, don't worry about me, big guy. They're just dreams. Yeah, and uh, then I wake up and there's scribbled notes around me. Feels like I haven't slept at all. All right. I showed you mine, now lay it on me. Dreams, nightmares, fantasies, your deepest, darkest fears. Let's hear it. Sorry, I just pulled up to the office. I'll have to get back to you on all that. Eh, suit yourself. The anticipation is killing me. Meals. Yeah, just a bunch of food, I guess. I feel like I should close this up. Make sure a bunch of, I don't know, Martian dust doesn't get in the back of the thing. Okay. Elevator's not working. Someone must have borrowed a power cell. Declan, I'm heading up to the perilous rocky pathway. Power cell for the elevator is missing. Have fun. Oh, hey, just got an update from Commander Wilcox. Landing site preparations are underway. Also, she told me to clean up my shit at the comms tower. <laughs> she didn't want to scare off the new recruits. I like Josie. I can put the power cell if I had one. I just love how this looks. It's so desolate and lonely. Like, imagine knowing that you are literally one of only... I don't know how many people they have here. One of only a dozen or so people on literally the entire planet. I don't know why I'm going here. Wait, I can... I can go here? Am I supposed to go there? It doesn't look like it. But I want to. I can't jump, by the way, if you're wondering about that. There's a way to get up back there. I want to know what's here. Oh, how's my oxygen? 82, 81%. Not bad at all. Oh, just another way down. Or like, up, I guess. I could have taken this way.
It all just kind of loops around, it looks like. Probably have to calibrate them all. Hmm. Can't do anything with that right now. So hold on, there was another place to get up somewhere. Up here. Wasn't there? Like another prompt? Where was it? I'm not sure. The solar panels are definitely desynchronized. I'll have to connect with my bio gauge to rotate them. If I'm quick, there may still be enough hours of daylight to recharge the overnight batteries. Well, let's be quick then. What do I need to connect to exactly? Not each individual one. This thing looks just totally broken. Uh, Lucigen class command console. This control console interfaces directly with Lucigen series solar panels. The latest in blah blah blah. <laughs> connect to control rotations and receive output and efficiency readings from the linked array. Do it. Ah, data. I love it. 31%. 31% power efficiency input. Whatever it is, it's bad. Ah, I can rotate it. Ooh, it's getting worse. Oh. Yeah, 91 is optimal. One down. Are are we not concerned about the fact that the console that controls them is just like on a destroyed platform? Seems pretty concerning. Oof. I just want to see if there's anything over here. Like, what are these cubes? This world is such a joy to explore. Fifty-five percent oxygen, not bad, but shouldn't be here that much longer. Oh, I love how it's so much slower to go up and down stairs. That's a nice touch. saying that's the best, though. 41% oxygen. Ooh. Unwise. Damn, I thought for sure there'd be secrets in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We leave Martian dust footprints? Oh my god, that is so cool. We can refill air. No problem. Who is taking power cells from my solar array? Declan, who was out here last? Probably Lucas on some errand for Volkova. They're always up to something weird. Creeps me out. 
I have never met a normal botanist. So I can't even operate this damn thing without a power cell. Right? I can't connect to it, can I? Yeah, I can't connect. Okay. Now oh, these solar panels still aren't right. They, they show up as red. Wasn't 79 the highest percent we could get, though? I don't understand. What did I do wrong with these? Oh, whoops. No! <laughs> Wake back up. That's the controls. Like, the lights on the solar panels turn green when it's good, and also that thing down there that says low says something else and turns green when it's good. Right? Like, look, it never... It never turns green, right? Off. Low. I don't understand. That's the best it's gonna get. Oh, this one works. It's a little outpost there. Maybe some power cells there. Kind of glad to get out of the base. Walk around. Yeah, it's nice to step outside. Breathe in that non-existent Martian air. Well, there's that. But I can move out here. I don't know, spread my wings a bit. Like a beautiful, dead Martian swan. Like a dead Martian eagle, thank you. <laughs> ah, there's my spare power cell, but the problem is now I can't go up. So... Yeah. I can connect to this thing? Geological survey vehicle. With mineral breakdown and terrain bypass cap capabilities, runs on a modular power cell. Warning, engine malfunction detected. System lockdown. Power up the digger to connect. Oh, maybe that's what the power cell's for. Yeah, okay. Why do I want to get this thing up and going, though? What am I going to use it for? What do I want to dig? Are they going to dig me a path right up so I don't have to take the elevator? Hydraulics and engine are bad, I guess. Oh, I need to start them. Well, let's test first. That's not good. Start engine. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Okay, good times. Not sure how I could fix this thing. Huh. Well, I can take the power cell back out, so that's a good thing. Let's refill. I assume it'll be refilled next time we go out then. Assuming we put on the same suit. Ah, 
Oh, okay. What? Don't know. Thought I saw someone. Don't see anyone now. Let's just get this done. This place is aggressively dark and creepy. Oops. Lucky I brought along a power cell. Ah. Better. Still a little gloomy, but better. Man, I love how much detail there is. Just all this stuff, stuff of life and research and everything. Drinks and games and apparatuses and test tubes, centrifuges. I think that's what that is. Why is this locked? Is it getting dark outside? Reviewer Declan Delapore, after 133 souls, primary mission is finally a success. Located a possible water ice deposit 36.8 kilometers east of here. Serrano crew will be notified as soon as they're within range. Investigations are underway. Ah, I can use the PC. Probably gonna need a password other than mine? Or can I just- Hey Declan, why don't you give me your password? I'm just gonna check out your browsing history. Hard pass. Ah, unlock door. Ah, right. From the computer, I can not only read the log entries, but also access stuff in the area. A little bit creeped out about what might be behind that door. Ah, is it a spare? Yes. Is that a shower? Ah, oh, I think it is. So this place is equipped for somebody... Yeah, for somebody to be able to actually sleep here. I guess it's manned by one person. One bed. Whoops. Operating instructions. Trying to figure out how to use the toilet. I should grab that cell powering the facility before I go. Yeah, I was thinking so too. No reason to leave it here, really. I mean, I guess there is. When somebody else comes, it'd be nice if this place had some fucking power. But I think I'm gonna need more than one. Mmm. I'm scared again. Eh. Site. Panels are out of alignment again. Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. Can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got four Orochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. But we have a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Copy? Copy. Not your fault. But after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. Just want to try connecting to this thing again. I don't see why anything would be different, but why not try? Nah.
I love all the steps and procedures for everything. Ha! I figured out the problem. I never pressed up and down. I only did left and right. They can be adjusted up and down, because of course they can. Optimal. Oh, you can actually get them above optimal. 96, 95, 4, 7, 98, 90, 100! That should do it. Hi, Shane. Uh, I made a bio gauge program so that you can see when Phobos is passing overhead. It, it circles Mars three times a day, you know, and um, it, it, it is required that everyone downloads this program. Um, I've already added it to your OS to ensure that you don't forget. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. I think it'll really help with morale. Thanks, Lucas. Well, I don't think this one can get to 100%, but... 98? Oh, wait. 99? Oh, so close. Oh, can it not get to 100? Oh! Yes! Hell yeah! I know it's not necessary, but I don't care. Four is the best. Left to right. Oh. Oh, let's get you to a hundred. Well, this one's tough. The solar panels are now calibrated. Heading up the hill to the conduit. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, copy that. Hmm, I'm at 54%. Let's tap top up on on O2. Where's the thing? I think it's over here. The main control power conduit thingy. Or is this just the way down? It's just the way down. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, yeah, it's that thing up there. Conduit is shut down. Hmm. There should be a fuse switch on one of the sides. I love how many steps there are to everything. Fiddly technology. That's how technology is. Should be back on. Uh, Shane, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I think we just found water on Mars. Bad news, it is spraying all over the greenhouse. 
Restoring power must have triggered the pumps, and I'm showing significant pressure loss across the system. Can't be cut off remotely? Nope. Sorry, cowboy. This is a job that requires your hands-on expertise. All right. Heading back now. Yeah, I don't actually have a spare power cell. What did you just do? I have water spraying all over my greenhouse. I would not expect this from a new heart. Can't you just turn it off? I do not have time for this. You will fix this. Jeez. Who's shitting her cereal? Spiced cereal. Still fighting that headache? Yeah, I still can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah, everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought. So I went down. There was a, a like a, a... Well, she wasn't there. Or anywhere. We searched for years. I love that combination of cutscene and a little bit of player control, and also just a conversation between two people. Because most of the time in the cutscene you can't do anything. It's showing those different perspectives, like from inside the base and stuff. I can't move anything, but then it comes back to the cockpit every once in a while, and then I can look around. It's interesting, I really like the way they, they framed those shots. Feels like I'm back in therapy. Well, no better place to tackle your problems than from 130 miles away, right? I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. I'm really excited to come back. I love it so far. I think it looks great. I love all the detail in the environment and how real and lived in the place feels. I love how everything looks inside and outside, and I can't wait to come back. <laughs>